Hi everyone, Brian here from Black Ops Toys. Uh, this is the next video in the lineup of the 26034 Private Military Contractor or PMC, the Escort from Easy and Simple. I'm going to switch gears a little bit and I'm going to do the helmet. Um, we're going to try to do that today and then we're going to try to finish off with the uh, chest rig hopefully. Um, let's get started. So, heads all come off of the figure. When I do a helmet, I like to take the head off. That way I can actually play with the webbing and the straps um, down here. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So all helmets come with this stuff. This is padding, helmet padding. And a lot of helmets come with Velcro. These are just Velcro panels that stuff like these attach to. This is a little strobe. Um, when you do a helmet fitting, uh, it's kind of to taste and kind of to how you want it to go, but you just start off by putting the head inside and I'm looking at how it's sitting, okay? So, it needs to sit about right there. So I'm going to put some padding in and it's just trial and error. You put it in where you want. Um, I don't use it all. I don't ever use it all. I'm going to put one right in the middle down here. I'm going to do a fit and see if that sits where I want it to. Yeah, so that looks good. I'm going to do another one. And if you need a different shape or you want to use a different shape, you can always cut cut the padding. Um, you can actually cut and use the remainder of the padding if you want. So I'm going to put one right in front, right where his forehead's going to go. So now you got a gap, which is what you're looking for. Yeah, that looks really good. I don't need much more. Um, I'm going to do two small ones on the sides. I'm just using tweezers. And doesn't have to be perfect again. You're not going to see this. You want them semi even so that the helmet sits properly on both sides of the figure's head. And I'm just eyeballing this. And then I'm going to do one in the back. I'm just going to do a bigger one in the back. Let's see what we got. That's what I'm looking for. So the helmet comes with the actual bungee system, just like the real thing. Um, you can see this in the back. It doesn't actually turn, but normally you would turn this and it would um, bring all the webbing against your head. So what I'm trying to do now is get this on the chin. And you can see this is a chin strap. So I want it to sit properly. So I'm going to buckle this. And buckle this again. Oh, come on. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so you do a couple different things. I could have put the earmuffs on, and these are for hearing protection. Um, I'm actually not going to use these um, just because, in my opinion, it just looks a little bit too bulky. Um, 
So I'm not going to use these. I'm going to use the comm set with the helmet. Uh, the cool thing about the helmet also is that you have these rails right here and the rails allow you to attach stuff like lights and stroves and side plates and chops and then you have an NVG mount that you can connect an NVG to. So all of those parts can be purchased separately and you can put them on yourself and kind of make your own custom out of this if you want to add more stuff. Um, but that to me looks like the helmet is almost done. Uh, I got a little bit of Velcro here. I'm going to put it right here underneath this tie. And I'm just going to attach the strobe to it. Let's check something. The strobe comes with sticky adhesive on it. Oh. Let's see if we can just stick this instead of using the Velcro. Oh. It's actually contoured properly. That looks good. They did a great job with the bungee cords. Those are really cool. Um, so I'm actually not going to use the Velcro like I thought I was. Next thing we can do is we can fit the sunglasses on if you want the sunglasses. Um, you always want to be careful with sunglasses because they are fragile and they do break. So hmm. There we go. So you can also do these before you put the helmet on. <laughs> that might be easier. Um, most of the sunglasses will actually break if you do what I just did. Uh, these are actually flexible, so they didn't break, which is awesome. <laughs> but that is the finished head sculpt. That's really cool. Oh yeah, sexy. So one other quick thing that I can do. Uh, again, just leave that on. I'm going to put the comm system on. right here, just slide it down. So this Q-tip right here is going to go in his ear. Going to slide the head down. There we go. Take this and I put it underneath. I'm just lipping this underneath the webbing. Just going to go around his ear. There we go. And then we're just going to stick it in his ear. Maybe. Can't see very well. Okay, and there is a hole for this to go into already. If the hole wasn't there, you could obviously use a pen drill. I wouldn't recommend that on your first go around. Okay. That is in. Just pushing the sunglasses down against his ear. I want them to stay. There we go. Okay. 
That looks really good. And that's the helmet. Now we can do a chest cam. This guy came with a little GoPro. I've mounted the camera onto the chest uh, chest rig or the chest platform, chest mount. Um, you could do a couple different things. You could take the camera off. You could actually glue dot it to either the vest or to, you could put it on the helmet. Doing a little tiny modification, you could put it on the helmet, which would be really cool. Um, but we're gonna keep it on the chest rig for, or underneath the chest rig for now. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna take this, we're gonna go like that. This is just gonna go. So if you want some more room, you can just take the hand off, which might be easier. You see how it is on the back? Just like the real thing. I have the radio there. I'm gonna move that. So just get that out of the way. And it is elastic. Looks really good. I'll come around to the front. So cool. All right. So if you look at it, it's actually positioned forward. So that's where it will go. It won't actually go back so it's flush with this, but that's the way we want it. So your chest has a natural arc like this. And if it was flush, you'd be looking up. So you can see how it's pushed forward. Now it's looking straight ahead. So it's supposed to be like that. Uh, So, looks like we're almost ready for the chest rig. So why don't we just go ahead and throw that on. Okay, so first problem, you can see where the knife is. See if we can actually keep the knife there. So you can see how it's crossing in the back. Now these buckles are hard to do, so play with them while they're off the figure, so you kind of know how they go. Um, and these little guys right here take up the slack when you have excess, excess fabric. So you can see these up here, these also have those. We're just going to pull these down, that way this doesn't hang out too much. That looks good. Tiny bit. Again, don't get this around Velcro. Okay. That looks good. Boom.
Looks like we're just about done. So we have a little GPS and we have the radio to finish. So this guy, just gonna come down. I'm just trying to figure out where to place it. So, yeah, I'm gonna go like that. So you can see this little band right here. This is another one of those elastic bands. I'm just going to clip the radio on that. Now, wire's hidden. It looks real good. It's functional. I'm going to tuck that belt a little bit. So, GPS, uh, a couple of different places you could put it. You can put it in his hand, which is what I'm going to do. take the hand off and I'm going to put this, remember I cut the fingers, this hand's still pretty stiff. I want to be careful because I don't want to break the handle on the weapon. Go ahead and pop that GPS out. We're going to put that in a pocket. We're just going to set him up with the rifle. There you go. He's done. Do a quick turn. Helmet looks really good. Everything looks good. That's a pro build. There you go. Easy and simple. Okay, one final touch. Let's go ahead and put our patch on. Just gonna stick it right there. Again, I'll probably use a glue dot, which It'll already semi stick, so I'm just going to use a little bit just to help it really fasten. There we go. You can see that? I throw that guy right there. Bam. Keep calm, save our mother country. Who's your daddy? If you like this kind of stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you ring that bell to be notified of new content such as this and look for an upcoming video on a couple of changes that I'm going to make. I'm going to go shopping at the store, at our store, and I'm going to pick out some pieces and I'm going to do a little bit of a customized project with this guy. So you'll see kind of my thoughts on what I wanted to add and where I would go farther with this. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Uh, stay tuned for more content.